buttons to get the subscribe and uh, click on the notification button so that you get to know whenever a video is uploaded or your uh, investment in equity or research and so on so today in this video we're going to cover a little bit on uh, uh, let's look at let's analyze companies with golden cross com you know uh, well, I do not know specifically which company, but we will together analyze and see what are the potential companies out there. So, in this part of it, we are taking the EMA 50 crossing above SMA 200. So, yep, let's start it. So, uh, if you see here, I am actually having uh, two charts open. One is my um, trading view, and another one is uh, investing.com. So, guys, in, in investing.com and trading view, I have my chart set up, and I am not using MA50. Uh, I'm using MA70 and uh, to analyze. So if you go to some filters or screeners out there, uh, easily you do not get MA70. So predefined, it will be more or less of MA50. So you can use um, what we call that uh, filters or screeners out there and uh, populate a list of companies, okay? And from those companies, then you can start uh, looking into potential. Okay. So here I am using uh, several. I think I have about 90 companies that I would like to see how is it doing, you know, how, how, how is that company performing and all that. So this is based on. Uh, MA50 200 uh, days. <laughs> All right. So well, let's look at it. EQ. I uh, watch for my video, and I'll show about setting up uh, the chart. So here, yeah, it is, I would say there's a golden cross here. Let's take it as, where is the, uh, I would like to go. Okay, now I would like to draw it blue. Okay, this is a golden cross, okay. This is a golden cross. Okay, I see, but um, it's quite some time back, and I am not kind of keen in terms of uh, uh, EQIF. Guys, this is not a business recommendation or investment recommendation. This is purely in chart evaluation. So you got to identify or you got to analyze the company, whether it's a good company and you have to do your own due diligence. Before stepping into investment, I am just sharing whatever I have. Uh, now what I'm doing, so I'm just sharing it, but there are more to it, you know. So if you go for a proper uh, investment learning, Classes, or maybe if you follow through the uh, videos, tutorials, somewhere along the line, you will start understanding the uh, strategies that's being used. But as I said, if you want to know what is the strategy, or you know how am I selecting, how am I choosing, what am I trying to do here, and you can actually go for investment classes. And if you need an advice from investment classes if you want me to recommend some which I really really feel is very good then follow my Facebook page you can actually post 
uh, in a Facebook page and ask, you know, any questions that you want to ask. And my Facebook page, you know, is, I, I will actually show it towards the end of the video. Right, so let's see. Yeah. EQIX, no. Look at FTX. Oh, <laughs> I knew this company sometime back. They are data related company. But however, yeah, they had Golden Cross here. But uh, they missed it. So it went to the peak. And it's already coming down. So yeah, we are not looking for this. This is not a potential. Guys, there's about 19 companies only I'm going to evaluate. So, yep. This is a potential that uh, I would do further evaluation to this company if I want to enter in. Because the company actually... Alright. In another video, I will, uh, I will, I will share with you further evaluation of these companies to check whether these companies could be a potential. So yeah, no worries. I'm not going to take too much of time. This is the Golden Cross took place on third July, and out of ten days, if you could see, there is a. Alright, where is the ruler? Okay, ruler. In 10 days. About 20% increase in 10 days. That's great, right? In 10 days. 10 days. So, you know, minus of the weekends, maybe about 6 days, 6 14 days, and you get about 18%. Uh, that's great, that's about 25 ninety cent increase. Alright, so we will evaluate this company uh, later. We are looking at next company, PG. PG had a golden cross somewhere here, but that's like two months back. So I am not kind of interested because we see the chart is going sideways and it's moving down. Guys, there are other fundamentals behind it. I'm not drawing it because I don't see uh, the value in looking at it now. Unless, you know, we would have seen it earlier. So, we'll go, we'll emphasize on into companies that has potential. Let's look at this. This is an OTC market. Yeah, they had a golden cross uh, somewhere here. But then, yeah, I do not know how this company is, but this is sometime in May. So, no, I am not taking this as a potential company to evaluate further. Let's look at another, I have, I have true screen, I have several companies, guys. There's another uh, company and this is an internet software. I do not know what they are doing. We can actually... Uh, conduct one video session follow me and let's we can evaluate so this is also like al and why uh it reached this golden cross sometime in uh start of june and oh no it's going up so how far will it grow or is there any potential and if you see that um i have to do further invest in well uh analysis on this company before even confirming anything because it's kind of at all time high peak in the past few months I think so I don't know all right so this is something that we will evaluate further maybe one of my video will cover an EWR so let's look at another company Unilever Unilever had a golden cross yes it has a golden cross over here but that's a long time back so I'm not going to evaluate further on EL so let's look at GEMB uh, yes, GAMB had a golden cross as well, but this is also in me, so I'm not going to look at it now. And let's look at uh, FBRX. FBRX seems to be a medical biomedic, and yes, they had a golden cross, but this is not 
flowing so much. If you see, it has actually spiked slightly, came down, spiked, but it's, it's, it's growing very, 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 very uh, slowly uh, in the long term. So, uh, no, I'm not going to evaluate further on this company. And let's look at RF C. I don't know what company this is. Let me put the name of your regions. Financial Corp RF. Okay. So, RF had a golden cross sometime here. This was August. And would have been a potential company. And if I would say the company actually go from here somewhere up to this peak. And that's about 114 person. And in how many months was it? Um, less than a year. But it's still a good investment, but not now because I don't see a good potential now. So I'm going to move on. No RF, MS. Morgan Stanley. Morgan Stanley also had a golden cross sometime here. There's no potential company. I mean, I'm not, not seeing a potential of entering in now. Probably I would enter in an overvalued range or, you know, so I, I really do not know if this needs to do for the valuation. But for, at this point of time, I'm not going to look at Morgan Stanley. And Morgan Stanley, uh, so not so sure what, uh, what uh, company is it, okay? So Duke Energy Corp, by the name of it, it sounds like it's an energy company. Yep, it's a Golden Cross, but sometime back, that's in March. So I don't see, a, I do not know whether there's a potential for us to go further. So the evaluation needs to be done, and I'm kind of not interested in this company. Guys, if you have any company specifically you want me to do evaluation, drop the company's name and uh, a little bit of your analysis you have to do your homework as well into my facebook page and guys i'll create a video for it that we can value it together and i'll make sure that i tag you into the video so that you'll be able to see so there's another golden cross here but this was in february and i i didn't know whether there's a potential for it to grow further so I'm not going to look at that uh, public story. Okay. So all paid cop. Okay. Yeah, but long ago. This is long ago. Thirty nine, but that was long ago. And I see there's a there's potential of deep coming in. So no, nope, I do not know how's the company. Guys, all this company I'm putting in. It is based on some screeners, some value that I've put in, and uh, does not mean it's a good company. I need to further evaluate on the company. I, and if that company marks my interest, then I will look into it further. So yeah, this had a golden cross, but sometime in 19 May, I would say I do not want to step in because it's almost a month plus. So yep, let's look at another company. So, NBB, NBB, New Rain, New Rain Taxable. So, no, I'm, I'm not looking at New Rain Taxable. It's uh, NBB, and we are looking at NYSE Market. So, no. New Rain, New Rain, Build. New Rain Build, America. I don't see it, but uh, the ticker symbol is NBB. That's new and taxable income fund. But yeah, it is a golden cross here. But um, the the chart does not look very appealing. You know, the, the, the trending is not so good, so I'm not going to further evaluate NBB. Uh, yeah, something brought to my interest. Like, uh, look at this. I'm gonna look at this. This company is still very good. 
sometimes. Sometimes November, I invested, but I exited earlier. And look at it. I had it in small. Oh, well, this company has a lot of power, oh, man. And if you had a fainted in there, put the acquisition. I fainted in there. I exited somewhere here. It's about uh, 200 days, and you would have had 73%. Oh. Well, still a good pump. Okay, go back to the screen now. Huh? DHP. Oh, yeah, uh, but it uh, doesn't attract me. No. So GGAL, I do not know what companies are these, but uh, yeah. Company as well have a golden cross here, but uh, it's sometime back in 14 May. Uh, I'm not too keen in proceeding with the analysis of this company so and the last one called Forest Golden so yeah it's beautiful uh, hype this at May beginning now you see it's, it's kind of slowed down already so yeah I'm not interested in this company as well so, yep, guys, a short screening I've done on uh, Golden Cross in uh, bar chart. Okay, let me just show you. You know, I actually set a filter to show any uh, new sign of, um, you know, uh, 50 to 200 MECO signal. And then the last price, I want it to be greater than $2. And then 200 Days average volume to be higher, and uh, these are the results I got. And and uh, no, I think the filters are not good, and uh, I don't see much potential company. And guys, follow me in my next video, and you will be uh, well. You'll be finding. For my analysis on ALNY and in EWR, or if there's any other analysis that I've, I've done through a screening in uh, technical modeling, I will also do that. And when there is potential, it's up to you all. Analyze and then take me. Alright. So, that's all. Don't forget to subscribe and follow my channel so that you get the latest notification for all the videos that's coming up. I upload video as and when I do an evaluation, guys, so there won't be any delay for you to follow through. Right? With that, thank you and bye-bye.